Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking all about the Black Moon Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. I've got the Metal Trinity, the two new metal shades and one of the original formulas. We'll do lip swatches and I will let you know more about the brand and my final thoughts. Black Moon Cosmetics has been striving since early 2015 to bring you quality products from the darker side to grace that beautiful face of yours. We've started our journey with our innovative liquid lipstick formula and we're making our way to every part of the face. We do not test use animal derived ingredients or any ingredients that have been tested on our animal first. And pretty shiny things with our darkly personality and continue to push the boundaries with our out of the box packaging. Because who said glitter only goes with pink? Look at this, the box is amazing that comes. Also, it comes with that beautiful little jewelry thing that says Black Moon Cosmetics from one side and the other side it says I love you to the moon and back. Isn't that awesome? The original packaging is that um, black and white box uh, that says um, Black Moon here and it tells you on the back how to apply. Here is the original packaging and here is the new metal shades. This is the Eternal and this is the Myth. Also, I've got the Black Trinity. Black Metal Trinity, it came at this packaging originally and included these three shades, which is the um, Armageddon, Immortal and Sorrow and a bundle of five black metals including myth that they had it separately that greeny color that i'm wearing today and a new shade called eternal you get this bundle of five for 80 usd dollars and i have one shade of the original line which is in the shade green the lipsticks they look like that it has that iridescent black moon on the bottom. It has the shade and where it's been made. It comes with a dog foot applicator like this. The scent is like, like cake kind of thing with a little bit like caramelly sort of thing. Get 0 0.2 ounces, 6 grams. They retail for 18 USD dollars. They're made in USA and they are cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, as well as gluten-free. Let's start with the swatches and I will come back and share my thoughts. Let's start with the shade Grim, which is the original liquid lipstick. This is Grim. It's that beautiful, like, grazy, grayish brown, and it's very, very unique color. I don't think I have anything like that in my collection. Moving on to the metals, to Armageddon. And this is Armageddon. And it's that beautiful, like, um, blackened red. Moving on to Immortal. And this is Immortal. It is that blackened purple aubergine. Moving on to Sorrow. And I love the names too. This is Sorrow. It's that black and blue. If you're after for a you know unique blue color with black and metal next one is myth
and this is myth. Very unique emerald green blackened color. And the last but not least is one of the new metallic shades called Eternal. And this is Eternal. I'm not quite sure how I can describe this color. Probably like a, a brown with a rose gold hint. It's beautiful. This is Grim. This is Armageddon. This is Immortal. Sorrow, Myth and Eternal. And I'm wearing Eternal now. Let's say I love the packaging. The packaging is amazing. And um, as for the lipsticks, they all come with a, an applicator. And the applicator looks like that. It's quite like Benty. I don't know if you're able to see here. It's quite Benty. I love the scent. The scent is like cake. A little bit more like a moussey consistency again. But not very thick. They're more in the thinner moussey side. Um, I find the normal liquid lipsticks thinner than obviously the metallic ones and some of the metallic thinner than others. They did last a long time. Some of the shades they did transfer. The shade that I have now, Eternal, which is this one, didn't transfer. But um, the blue did and um, the uh, Armageddon did also the Immortal. They didn't crumble, they didn't feather. I didn't use it. I didn't have to use a lip liner. They were very comfortable with the lips. And they didn't stain my lips, which is, is very important. Some shades, they were more sheer than others, I would say. Like, for example, the shade um, Sorrow here, the blue one, and the Immortal. Uh, these two, they were like more sheer, so I had them to just build them up a little bit. Um, a little bit the Arm Armageddon too, but not as sheer as these two, if you know what I mean. Now, if I had to pick my three favorite shades of those, Grim, and the reason it's a beautiful brown, grazy kind of color that I never ever seen anything like it. And the next one will be Myth, which I was wearing at the beginning of the video. It's that emerald green. It's beautiful. It's unique. I really love the color and the consistency. So it's beautiful and didn't need a lot of building up too. And the last one that I would say it's the Eternal, which is this one. And it's the one that I'm wearing now. All in all, guys, Black Moon Cosmetics, it's a great company. I really like the lipsticks. Some I liked more than others. And I explained the reasons. The price, I find that it's good. It's a standard price. You get a fair bit amount of product. They smell nice. Um, they're comfortable on the lips. They're thin to moussey consistency. They do stay a long time. Some they do transfer, so bear that in mind. They don't crumble. They don't bleed. They don't need a lip liner. The colors are beautiful. They're very unique, especially the black metallic ones. And I love all the idea and the packaging. The packaging is amazing and attention to detail. So it's really beautiful. It's a great company. I love they're made in USA. They're cruelty-free, vegan and paraben-free and gluten-free. And also I love that they do international shipping. So that's all my thoughts, guys. I hope you like this video. You know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, mwah. bye.